We are a few hours now into day two of early voting, riding a record breaking momentum to start the election season in Georgia. The Secretary of State's office says opening day for early in person voting set a new state record. More than 305,000 people cast their ballot Tuesday, more than two times the number in the past two election cycles. Secretary of State Chief Operating Officer Gabe Sterling says in 2022, about 134,000 people cast their ballot on that day one of early voting. On that same day in 2020, it was 135,000 people. We have team coverage for you on the election day, uh, day two of early voting here. Ariana Manise with the 11 Live political team covering a new development in the way Georgia ballots will be counted on election night. We begin with Karis Belger in Cobb County, though, where the second highest number of voters were recorded on that day one. Karis. That's right. In fact, Cobb County was right behind Fulton County for voter turnout. In fact, a poll worker here today told me it's still kind of busy, but not nearly as busy as it was yesterday. They do still have barricades around the front door in case a line does begin to form. There is not one now, but most people say that they wanted to avoid that line because they figured it would be busy on that very first day. That same poll worker told me the record for voters at this particular location here on Roswell Street was, in his words, shattered by 11 a.m. And people I spoke with say they purposely came today to avoid that initial rush. But they also say they didn't want to risk waiting until Election Day in case a crowd formed on November 5th. I'm on vacation today. I have off, so I came for that, you know, because I had the time. Um, but I also wanted to beat the crowds and I wanted to definitely vote in person and not by mail because of the post office having a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. So it just felt better to vote in person. Now, specifically for this location on Roswell Street, that same poll worker I mentioned earlier, he is encouraging folks to come today if they do want to make sure they vote early, but also avoid a crowd. Something to keep in mind. Of course, you can check your wait times at any location for early, vo early voting online. I'm Karis Belger, 11 Alive News.